Hello music lovers. Welcome to this week's edition of Creativity 101. Today we are going to be discussing intervallic relationships and how to use them as compositional devices to create some interesting motifs. Now, in layman's terms, what does that mean? Well, intervals are simply the distance between one note and the next, right? In understanding that, you have ways to create chords using one note in relation to the other 12. But what happens if you take the note C as sort of a pedal tone and decide to say, okay, I wonder how we can create some chords based on intervallic distances. So for the purposes of this tutorial, we're gonna take the note C and we're gonna make it a function of another chord. So if we're making it the function of the one, then it's going to be some sort of a C chord. C major, C minor, maybe a half diminished, maybe you got a, an augmented chord, but they're all C derivatives. Now what if C is functioning as a minor second, right? You hear that sometimes, probably not uh, picked as a chord, kind of like that, but rather in sort of like a melodic, arpeggiated kind of style. If C is functioning as a major second, then the root chord would be a B flat. Because C is the major second of B flat. A minor third. A minor. So let's just take what we've done so far, okay? We've got C major. To a major third, to a suspended fourth. Right? And so as you're shifting through, you can hear that note ringing out on top as sort of a pedal tone. So if you can figure out chords where you change the nature of what C is, is it, is it a flat five, oh, is it a minor seven, though, is it a flat six, whatever, you can come up with some really, really creative chord ideas just centered around one note. It could be... And see, that's just using a single note as a reference point and building triads and different kinds of chords around it. If you have an entire melody that you're working with, then you can shift the perspective of those chords depending on what you want the landing spot to be. So if you get... Now that may be a good example, that may not be, but the point is, play around with it. Figure out some new and creative ideas that are all your own, and you might stumble upon some chord voicings and things that you like. You're like, oh, what can I do with that? Where can I move from it? So let me know what you think of this. Leave me a note. Let me know in the comments. Hey, John, that sucked. Or John, that was some pretty great stuff. I think I'm going to be able to use that. At any rate, comment, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Until next time, be good. Keep jamming.